Hello, welcome to this Soundbridge tutorial on the Rhythmix FX section. Now, in the FX section, we have reverb and delay sends that we can actually reach from the edit window or from the mixer and actually send. And immediately as we send, even if these were turned off and I sent any of the channels, this would get turned on immediately. Now this reverb is really similar to the reverb we have in Soundbridge. We have some basic controls on it, like reverberation time, pre-delay, early and late reflections balance, bass boost, high cut and high cut amount. The most basic functionality you need to shape a nice reverb for your drums. This is the gain stage for the reverb, for the send of the reverb actually, because we only have the wet part coming out of here. It's the same thing for the delay. We can sync the delay or use it in milliseconds. We have feedback, low pass filter on the feedback chain and stereo fade for the delay. We also have the gain for its output, on and off switches, and we have a compressor. Now this compressor is actually on the main stereo one output. So if you use this drum machine as a sequencer or as something to play real time, you can actually put this compressor on the master, that's actually on stereo one, on the master after everything and just control your output slightly or aggressively. And you have the basic controls that a compressor would have, a threshold, a threshold ratio, attack, release and post gain, of course on and off switch. Once you, once you touch anything, it gets turned on immediately just as anything else in Rhythmix. In this section, we can choose an output for this reverb and delay sense. So for the wet part of our reverb and delay for our sense, for the returns, we can send them out to different outputs in our DAW and then mix them in separately or process those even more in our DAW. So our reverb and our delay can go to separate outputs from all the pads. That gives you really nice routing capabilities.